Egan gospel singer goes viral. Melinda dropping facts of life. Antigua and Barbuda are known for its beautiful beaches, the Antigua and Black Pineapple, and the holy trinity of cricketing powerhouses, Sir Vivian Richards, Kirtley Ambrose, and Richie Richardson. And with a little over 100,000 inhabitants, there's also Melinda. I was basically home one day and I found the beat online and I decided to like write a song based on what was carrying on in my life at the moment. And what was going on in your life at the moment? <laughs> well, according to the song, you know, the marijuana was prohibited in my household, so Yes, that was very fun. Live up now, we've got to nothing to lose. So having started in gospel and now switching to reggae, that's what I'm interested in exploring. I guess I my style kinda changed with my age and basically the type of music that I listen to. So what type of music were you listening to? Well, right now I listen to a lot of reggae, a lot of um, Damien, but back then I was more of a gospel fan. Why do you go? Don't you need my love, baby? But what was the moment when you switched course, when you said, you know what, I'm going to give gospel a break and move into reggae? Well, there wasn't, I don't think there was a particular moment where I just switched. I don't even know when that happened. It kind of just, the transition just happened naturally. But people are fascinated by the lyrics. It's really struck a chord. What do you think works about the song? The fact that it's relatable. Who is it relating to, you think? Anybody who has been looked down upon, maybe, because they engage in smoking marijuana. Your mind frame when you, you know, came out with these lyrics and sang this song, posted it, uh, what were you thinking about? What was going through your head? I wouldn't say I was angry, but I was just, I was just surprised that, you know, people would judge you based on a simple aspect of, you know, your life. So tell me now, what's been the reaction of your parents now that you're doing reggae and smoking ganjo? Their, their, their daughter is kind of not the little gospel girl anymore. What's been their reaction? Well, I don't think my mother is surprised, but I've gotten a lot of positive reaction. But are, are they disappointed? No, I wouldn't say so. My mother, when she first heard the song, she was she was happy that it was receiving a lot of traction, but she was just like, next time don't sing about marijuana. <laughs> You want to give yeah. us a, you want to give us a line from the song right now because, as I said, people are really into it. Uh, okay. Daddy said to stop hanging out in the corner. I miss him a camp when me lick him on the wanna. For me even blink from the door up a faster. Somebody please tell me why I carry on. Yeah, he asked me why I smoke. I'm just saying nice. He asked me how I feel. I'm a simple feel high. He starts up preaching my house all night. So let me tell you like a something about life. Nice talking to you, Melinda, and good luck. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Bye.